Hey guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add chapters to your YouTube videos. So we've always been able to go into our descriptions of our YouTube videos and add timestamps. So like you see here in this video, I have a bunch of timestamps down here in the description where people can click on the blue timestamp link here. So I can click on say a minute 30 and that will take them to that exact area within that video. But something that YouTube has added recently, which I think is absolutely killer, I love this feature, is the ability to add what they're calling YouTube chapters. Now, there's a bunch of benefits of doing these. I'm not really going to talk about all of them here, but you can see the obvious one, right? Like, you can see now there are little broken up areas in the actual playhead here of the video that is breaking down and giving you the ability to title the different sections or segments of your videos. So as you can see here, this is a Zoom tutorial or a guide that I have on my channel. Uh, if I highlight the different chapters of this video here, and you can see where they're kind of broken up here with a little space in between them, it'll show you here this section is inviting people to meetings, this one is in meeting actions, this one is sharing a screen in the meeting, the benefit of this is that people can just go and click on this little area here, uh, this chapter, and it will take them directly to that area without having to go and you know cipher through all of the description of a video to get to that actual timestamp. Also, they're doing another cool thing. When someone searches for something in Google and you're doing a how-to video, these chapters are coming up in Google search results where people can go just directly to where they want to go. Maybe they don't want to watch your full 20-minute or 30-minute instructional video. Maybe they just need to know how to invite people to a Zoom meeting. Well, they can do that now by going and selecting the chapter that you've set up. Now, how do you do this? It's very, very simple. So all you have to do is normally you would say, okay, timestamp, you know, 25 seconds, Zoom pricing, right? All you have to do is add at the top of your timestamp, you need to add zero, okay, zero, zero, and then you just put start. So basically what this does is it lets YouTube know, hey, we're starting at zero, we're zeroing it out, and then the next one is going to be at 25 sec seconds, the next one's going to be at a minute 30. So all you have to do is add, again, it's very simple, go to edit video, go to your description of that said video that you're wanting to add chapters to, and if you don't already, if, if you don't have any you know, beginning start point there, go ahead at the top here and just go ahead and do zero, colon, zero, zero, and then put start, or whatever you want to put there for the title of the beginning of the video, click save. And then when you reload that video, instead of just once, having timestamps, you, you will now see the different broken up chapters visually in the playhead here, the timeline of your video. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more great tech tutorials just like this. If you would, like the video, share it with your family and friends, and I will see you guys in the next video.